Today we're going to look at Bluetooth. Bluetooth is pretty ubiquitous right now because of smartphones and keyboards and tablets and all kinds of stuff. And it's a wireless protocol and set of hardware definitions that has been around for a little while now. And the version on your smartphone is likely to be Bluetooth for Bluetooth low energy. But there are versions before that are very useful and really cool for using with your Arduino. The challenge we have is these devices A usually run at 3 volts, whereas the Arduino likes to run at 5 volts, and the earlier versions may have some trouble connecting with iOS. The later versions of these devices have no problem connecting with iOS because they use Bluetooth low energy. We're going to use them as Bluetooth serial devices to actually communicate over serial. So what we've been learning with using the serial monitor and using the ESP8266 is very much usable here. To get around the 3 volt problem we use a voltage divider and the various methods of doing this even down to the point where you can buy dedicated chips called logic level converters that are especially for converting 5 volt logic to 3 volt logic or vice versa but we can just use a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor in series and as you can see, we go from 5 volts to, in this case, 3.41 volts, which is close enough. When we do that, our logic isn't going to damage these devices. Now, I have to admit, I have got so confused with my RX and TX and which pins I'm connecting and connecting to where, that I've probably sent five volts down these lines a lot and not fried the chip but safer to do this voltage divider and not take the risk once we've got the circuit in place and we've got our voltage divider set up then we can do the serial and i've tried this with hc0506 and with the HC08 and the HC08 is the one that's the Bluetooth low energy. I've also got my light blue bean and I've got uh, Adafruit blue fruit and they all work in similar ways. Some are more capable than others but you can even add your own firmware on some of these chips to get them to do greater powerful things. Right now, we're just going to use Serial, and it's a very similar sketch to what we use for the ESP8266. We've got an LED on 13, we've got RX and TX on 2 and 3, so we're using software Serial. Just remember the caveat where I was getting confused with RX and TX, and if you find it's not working, it's probably like I have, you've switched over the RX and TX. But moving on, <laughs> we set the LED as output, we start our USB serial as 9600, we set our Bluetooth serial as 9600, we output a ready message to the monitor, and as well as checking if there's any characters available, we look for specifically the asterisk, and if we get sent an asterisk, then Arduino needs to toggle the LED. And remember this from before, we read and whatever we get back, we knot it, so it's the inverse. So if we get one back, we make it minus one, and then we set that pin to whatever is the reverse of what we read. So it's just toggling it, one minus one, one minus one. And then we echo whatever is on this USB back to the Bluetooth and that allows us to use our phone or our computer 
to toggle the LED on and off. So we just use a terminal application and you can use it on your phone or as we've been doing on computer. If it asks for a code, it's going to be one, two, three, four or zero, 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 zero. So this is my Mac connecting to the HC05. And once you're connected, you have a new serial device. So you should be able to use your terminal program or the serial monitor once you've connected to that device as a serial and remember it's 9600 and you need both new line and carriage return so we choose 9600 board and you should be able to send AT and get a response back to say it's okay and then in our case we've uh, specified that we use asterisk to turn the light on and off. On iOS there are a couple of apps that I'd recommend that you try for communicating with these devices. The first is Light Blue Explorer from the Light Blue people who did the Light Blue Bean and this is specifically a Bluetooth lo low energy app and when you connect you'll see these characteristics and the specific one you need to be looking for is usually FFE1 and it'll say various things but it allows you to change to use UTF or ASCII and then communicate over the serial connection and like so we can blink the LED and we can also send any kind of text value. So our little script here, our little sketch is just echoing back whatever we put and of course we can say hi back. and whatever we send back appears on the screen. Now it's actually meant for their own Bluetooth devices but there's another one that I, I quite like it's called Bluetooth LE and again it as the name suggests it works over Bluetooth LE and you can choose ASCII, you can select the characteristic it's all the way down at the bottom FFE1 and Again, we can we can toggle the LED. On Android, there's three apps that I'd recommend. One for general Bluetooth, serial Bluetooth. Then there's the Light Blue app we just looked at, and then there's S2 Terminal. All three are excellent. Serial Bluetooth, as I said, is best for the ones that are not BLE. And then S2 and Light Blue are good for BLE devices. Connecting is pretty much the same as with iOS. For the non-BLE devices, you just pair it as a regular Bluetooth. And for the BLE, go through the apps. And then in the terminal, it just looks like your serial monitor. You connect and then you can send strings and get strings back. Pretty standard stuff and it works really well. Android seems to connect a lot easier than with the iPhone and as I said before the iPhone can only really connect with the 08 and above because it only uses Bluetooth low energy. <laughs>